Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Sorry, I was too busy looking at these nuts. Got him! I really was. I was, um, well, not these nuts and not even somebody else's nuts. No homo. I, um, I was looking at these nuts meme. So I can uh, show it to you guys at the end of the video. Apparently, there are very few people who don't know about these hey nuts. What's up? It was a meme that uh, some guy good. randomly Sorry, started, or he didn't start on purpose. But um, it. it was like a line that really went was. viral. Was, uh, of course, well, these nuts these is a nuts. pretty old and joke. Not even somebody else's um, nuts. But uh, this guy, he made I, uh, it sound like it was. I Such a big deal, and meme. the way he so sounded, and the way he looks, obviously, video. you know, made it funnier. Apparently, there are very something few that had to be seen. So what people started doing was, you know, about they nuts. started coming out with all these D's nuts joke, typical D's nuts joke, with his voiceover and him saying that, hey, something nuts. came in the mail got today. D's nuts, got him. So that's the trend that started. When did it actually happen? But, uh, this guy, he was it earlier it this like year? I think it was. a big deal. And but uh, anyways, we left off where I ended up raping three of the ECW extremists. And I have no idea what's about to happen because I know for the fact that we have New Year's Revolution. Uh, Pay-per-view coming up, then obviously we have that um, see who's on top. What the freak? Now, how the hell, tell me, how the freak am I a WWE champion? On top of that, I have never lost a match. Okay? And third, I just ended up defeating, or I wrestled three matches in one night, and I'm still on. I'm all the way down to number nine. It doesn't make any sense at all. This whole thing is rigged. I'm freaking done with this game already. Game's not obviously. I would say I think this is the worst SmackDown vs Raw game. I must say. Tell me, how the freak? Oh, and I don't have a match. WWE champion. On top of that, I have never huh. lost a match. I don't have a match. Okay. And third, oh. I just ended up defeating. That surprised me. Or okay. I wrestled three matches in one night, and I'm still on. I'm all the way down to number nine. It doesn't make any sense at all. This whole thing is rigged. I'm freaking done with this game already. Uh, game's not. Uh, obviously, I would say I think this is the worst SmackDown vs Raw game. Yeah. That three matches, man, it's probably hitting my fatigue really bad. Hey, Atlanta, Georgia, that's where we are at now. I'm going to do autograph signing. I actually need to do some uh, relaxation and massage and hand job. Let me go over there and do that real quick. There we go. Read the comments. Please read the comment. I hear two voices. Oh, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Ah. Uh, sorry. Ah, oh, crap. Well, thank you for trying to get my attention anyways. Okay, this no uh the new layout, I must say, it had it's got me all confused. If I don't hover my mouse over the video, I don't see the um, uh, the volume bar, you know, because usually when I do my live stream, um, on the video itself, I can see the uh, volume bar, you know, without me having to, you know, hover over my mouse on the video itself. But um, the new layout disables it. It doesn't let you see it. Please read the effing comments. Oh my gosh, you guys are freaking mad right now. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just glad the fact that I actually fixed it within the first five minutes of the video. Um, you Indian fool, oh my gosh. Well, thank you for calling me an Indian fool. Pizza, have you seen 2K16 entrances? I've only seen uh, Kalisto and uh, who was the other guy? I don't remember. I don't know. I think I've only seen Kalisto and I was, uh, I think I was pretty impressed. So, yeah. Roy Tista. Be the whose nut sacks were you looking at? These nuts? I just came here to wham XT or whatever. Uh by the way, it's okay, BJ. 
before face cam, I thought you were a redneck. I am not or nowhere near a redneck. You're my favorite YouTuber, says a guy named Blake Smith, who probably has a hard-on for me right now. I hope you're not masturbating because that is very bad. Pizza, hey! Uh, yes, I did see uh, Tough Enough last night. In case you didn't notice, I was, you know, tweeting last night. What are my opinions on Tough Enough? Um, this whole thing is uh, it's stupid. You know, as soon as I saw Patrick leave, uh, I was like, I'm done, you know, because it's not even fair. The voting thing is stupid. Um, the whole judges thing, I, I don't even care no more. Nope. On camera training. Let's do on camera training. But, um, uh, you know, honestly, this is just a show. Um, all of these guys, uh, they all can be, you know, they, they can go to the wrestling school, learn, and over time, you know, who knows, maybe one of them could, could emerge. Uh, as a bigger or better superstar, you know, because uh, things happen, you know, the tough enough they can go to wrestling school, and later on down the road we can s watch them, and you know WWE will probably never mention that, you know, they were in the tough enough at this time of the year or something down the road because that's how they are. They like to erase everybody's memories. Ah, uh, training exercises. Mm. Your ability. Uh oh, I think this is going to cause fatigue up 5%. Hall of Fame ceremony. The oh, freak is Coach talking about? This is uh December. <laughs> WWE Games Logic. Oh, at the end of the year, we're gonna do a uh, uh, freaking Hall of Fame. Oh wait, got some important messages to read. I just heard that your GM banned you from the arena this week. Too bad for him that he can't throw out a paying customer. I left you a ringside seat ticket at the box office. I'm sure you'll put it to good use. Oh, I'm at the box office, dog. I'm at the box office. All right, let's see what happens. I took a dump and it stinks. What should I do? Well, first things first. You don't need to be nowhere here topping on this video. You need to wipe your butt off. Is it bad that... Hang on. Mr. McMahon inducts himself into the WWE Hall of Fame. And speaking McMahon of is inducting himself. Another, Typical McMahon. Overdue. Not everyone's as happy about it as you are, King. Our champion, for one. That idiot knows what's good for him. He won't even show up at the arena tonight. <clears throat> um. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. I wipe my butt off with wet paper towels. I, I just confessed. What the freak? Dreamer was on drugs. You see him clap? That picture! What the freak is he doing? I don't believe this. He's lost his mind. Real Batista wouldn't do that. You'll pay for this. By God, you'll pay for this. Send him out. <laughs> Vince McMahon should have said, By God, you son of a bitch! Get that son of a bitch! Come on! Get him out of here! That's what Vince McMahon would, would have sounded like, you know? I'm surprised by looking at John Cena's nose that it never looked like it was broken. Well, you know, he's a WWE superstar. What do you expect? I didn't expect nothing less. The champion completely ruined Mr. McMahon's Hall of Fame uh -oh. induction ceremony. Yeah, and those two extremists are going to make him pay. Real smart move right before New Year's Revolution. Wait, what? 
Am I having a handicap match? You suck, fat old cock. Says a guy named Timothy Cruz. Bertizzo with granny voice be like. <laughs> I don't know what to say about ZZ, man. It's just. I told you, it's just a show. To me, it's not really tough enough. It's just an entertainment show. Alright, so what is this match type? DQ off. Surprise face. Referee, you don't have to stay out of the way because I'm going to freaking hit you in the nuts. These nuts. Take. Oh. This one. Oh! <laughs> Referee's leg. You mad? There we go. Ooh. He's broken in half. Uh oh. Ah, come on. Oh, really? What? Why do I keep doing that? I need to get out of there. He never even did anything. Man? Alright. Let's grab another weapon. And of course, it's going to be a uh, barbed wire. Really? I can't believe he ah! My gosh. I'm gonna beat the crap out of him, dude. Let's grab some more weapons of a different choice. Steel chair. Ooh. Oh. oh, crap, he grabbed it. It's okay. I got this match. Oh, butt chair shot. That's what I'm talking. I love butt chair shots. Who does that? Real Batista wouldn't do that. Oh, crap. He reversed it. By God, Batista's head plundering into that barbed wire. <sighs> I am so done with this game at, around uh, WrestleMania. I just want to see what's going to happen around WrestleMania time. I don't know, I may not quit this game just because there are people who actually like or like to watch me play this game. Or maybe you guys are just wanting me to have a rageful gameplay. I don't know, some of you guys are really selfish. Don't mind raging anyways. I like raging because I think it's pretty entertaining. I don't do it on purpose, it's just that it happens, you know. But recently, or I haven't done any raging, I don't know why. Because I haven't lost any matches, I guess, on this game. Ooh. Oh, what the freak? How did he get up? Magic? You know, oh man, that's the second reversal, dude. I'm glad I'm using weapons. Because I don't think I'll be able to pull it off. I need to hit Sandman. Oh crap, or the referee for that matter. Pulling referee's leg. He's being a douche. A trail of Crap. Bodies wherever he goes. And I think he's aiming to add another one. Uh oh. Uh, man? Please. 39 people watching right now. I wonder how many new people watch uh, my streams. Never uh, thought about that. I was thinking about this earlier, but in case you do watch my streams for the new people, you guys do need to hit the uh, subscribe button. Simply because I do these streams regularly, probably three to four times a week. Three times for sure, I think, unless I have a busy week. Um, I don't know how many of you guys wanted a update on my PC or not, but I was thinking about taking a picture of my living room, and it looks like a disaster, dude. I have stuff everywhere. So, my motherboard was dead. Um when it came in I just uh, didn't think about it 
you know, testing it before me putting my motherboard into the computer. So what happened was basically when I started or, you know, tried to turn on the computer, the computer never cranked up and um, I figured out that the motherboard was bad, I'm hoping. So I did a replacement order of the motherboard from Newegg. We'll see what happens when the new motherboard comes in. I love the motherboard, man. It's just... Uh, I hope uh, the new one works. This is beyond just being a match, JR. And that was my first time ever building a PC. I felt kind of... Kind of like discouraged after what happened. When my PC didn't work. But my girlfriend, she was like, Oh, it's okay, man. I mean, look what you did, you know? You built a freaking PC. And come to thinking of, you know, all this time I was thinking that PC was pretty hard to build and it's really not all you gotta do is just follow instructions not the first time of course it's gonna be it's gonna be hard and I do recommend freaking read everything read the manuals before you touch anything it will help a lot I know plenty of people like professional people that make mistakes building PC man because then they'll miss a step or something all right enough about my PC talk um I know there's a question out there already. Peter, what do you think about the Monday Night Raw? Monday Night Raw. <laughs> well, I haven't watched the last hour yet, but I uh, went on Facebook and uh, WWE showed a bunch of clips and stuff. Seen what happened with Stardust. Thought it was pretty cool. It wasn't actually like some of the other celebrities, you know. Uh, I didn't think it was lame like the uh, the other celebrities. Because most of them are not athletic or, you know, most of them can't perform in the ring, for that matter. Not that I'm saying that, um, what's the name, the guy who jumped into the ring, the celebrity, was, um, a performer or really athletic. But, um, what he did was pretty awesome. It looked pretty good on TV. And I think they have a good potential to have a uh, pretty decent, um, uh, you know, just a showcase. Crap, why? What the freak, dude? What the hell? This is ridiculous. If I don't pay attention, I'm maybe dead in a second. What the hell is Marcus doing, dude? Oh, I'm getting butt raped right now. Oh no! 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 Ah! Oh, you mother. F I swear. Exit out of the ring, dude. I need to be careful. Can't get a weapon because the weapon's already in the flipping ring. Alright, come on, Marcus. Beat the. F Whoop. Not the rep. Gosh darn it. Really? Woo. Oh, man. The indicator. Player indicator can suck my. These nuts. Woo. Come on, Sandman. Die. Ah, got out of the way, idiot! What? Really? Come on, what are you, Brock Lesnar? Can't even do any grapples here. No. Nope, take this, bitch. Yeah, right into that ring. You grab a weapon. My God, what a sickening impact. Ah! By God, what a spear. I need to end this. There we go. Spine f flipping buster. Come on, Rev, hurry up. One, two. Ah, oh, awesome. I'm glad I didn't go for a freaking Batista bomb. Pizza, my girlfriend leaves uh black stuff on the toilet after she uses it and it pisses me. Break? Black stuff. Well, black stuff. Okay. I think they got more of a fight than they were expecting. Who wants Jeff Hardy back at SummerSlam? Who cares about Jeff Hardy? He's just ready to kick a baby. These nuts. 
see how many likes we have on this video so far. 61 likes. Awesome. Thank you. Not only if we can reach 2,000 likes, that would be awesome. 2,000 likes. These nuts. Pizza, how do you feel about 2K16 limited amount of revert? What? Oh, well, that's new to me. I haven't uh, came across that news yet. There's a limited amount of reversal usage on that game? That could be Ultimate Rage Fest. Now, I'm sure you can go under the settings and change that. Because there's no way you could be limited to reversals. I'm sure there's a setting in there be like, hey, you know, you do you prefer our normal settings, which are... Um, the limited usage of, of the uh, reversals, or you want to do unlimited. Simulate. Yes. Firm. Alright, that's it. I'm sick of sticking my neck out for you. Consider my support of you officially withdrawn. You want to bring down Mr. Man's wrath on your head? So be it. Believe me in Raw. Coach, you mad? It's okay. Alright, we're getting into... Uh, uh, January. Let me do a charity event. Poor fella. Poor fella. Alright. Happy freaking New Year, guys. New Year's Revolution is this weekend. Holy crap. Trophy date. Nope. Not happening. I'm not gonna masturbate. Other brand of movie event. Uh, I may need a massage again, dude. Website interview. Hero movie. Conference. Do a freaking press conference. Why not? You know? Know what I'm saying? F Red Standard. Where is Red Standard? I haven't seen Red Standard. I don't know where is he at. I had a bad day today, Pete. I'm sorry. I had a bad day last week. And I don't even want to talk about it why I had a bad day. It's okay. A person a certain person wore me out pretty bad, man. Uh yeah, fan heat training. <laughs> Happy New Year, PJ. Summer school. Ah, uh, I remember those days. I can't stop watching the footage of you destroying the Hall of Fame ceremony. The look on his face is priceless. Now all you need is a win this Sunday to prove that there's nothing he can do to stop you. And if I lose, Stephanie McMahon, your vagina is mine. <laughs> that should have been the bet. Oh, so this is the last day before New Year's Revolution. I should probably go on a trophy date. Oh! What the f- Hey, wait a second. What? What is going- Oh, no. What What am I doing? Am I invading a match? Let's invade this match. I have no idea why did I decide to invade a show, man. I hate it. This is so stupid. Why don't they have an option to go back? You can't go back. That is so retarded. Hashtag rape tape. I'm glad someone remember. I'm bringing out the rape tape. I was taking touring for the regions at the school. I remember taking um, or doing summer school, guys. It was the best thing ever, believe it or not. Interfere, yes, no. I mean, I have no option. I have to. I can just use a chair and just, uh, you know, cause a disqualification, maybe? Botch machine. You can simulate. Well, I should have known. I don't understand the meaning of simulate sometimes. I think that if I hit simulate, 
it's gonna take me to the match and uh, have my player come out and do the simulation you know so I don't want to do that I'd rather do it by myself all right let's get over with this Batista by God who the freak is that it's freaking Batista where is he midget oh there you go referee here you go pick this punk I turned heel Unfortunately, you're right. There's no one to enforce the rules until the ref revives. Oh. Hey, where is Kane, by the way? So much can go wrong from that top turnbuckle. Woo! Take that, Kane. <laughs> Referee's out again. Poor guy. Hey, can I beat the referee? Right. You feel like a jerk when I want to pick up the referee and just slam him through the table. Where's my indicator? There we go. <laughs> Crap, why can I not? This is so stupid. Look at the referee, Batista. You Nimrod. There's no way I can do the player indicators, man. It just won't let me. Probably set on auto. Uh, control types. How do you... What the... Oh wait, what? Look at the referee, you idiot! Oh man. What's the button? I don't even know. I have pressed every button guys, no joke, including select. But nothing's working. Okay, whatever. I'm ready for this match to be over with. Because I could care less. <laughs> Butts hurting. PJ versus referee WrestleMania 32. Ryback return already. Who cares? Don't really care about Ryback. R3 to drag. Look at him, he's just radiating confidence. You can't target the referee. Oh really? Surprise face. Now I know. By the way, there's a person named Moist Potato in this chat. Kudos to that name. That is the best YouTube name I have ever seen. Moist Potato. Watch it. Next live stream, I'm gonna have a person named D's Nuts with a uh, picture of the guy, with you know, basically have his uh, picture in the display. Peter, do you watch Dragon Ball Super? Yes, I watch. I've <laughs> missed fourth and fifth episode, which is pretty much two or three weeks of you know stuff that I've missed. I need to watch it. Uh, I heard somebody was complaining. Uh, of the last episode where the graphics were bad uh, you know they said the cart ar cartoon artist didn't uh, work good enough um, on the uh, fight scene now I have to say something about that because every once in a while why is it that I remember watching Dragon Ball Z and during some of the sagas they would have one one episode where it, the, you know the graphics the cartoon artist would work on the stuff and it would look so smooth and everything would be so fine and the next episode would be crappy looking um same thing happened with uh naruto when he fought pain in naruto shippuden uh, i remember watching it i think um during the whole fight 
during the uh, 10 episode stretch, the uh, episodes looked weird. I don't know why, but I don't know why they do that. I don't know. But um, anyways, oh, there's 62 people watching right now. Uh, for those wondering what's going on right now, Kane versus Booker T, this is a filler match, you can say that. I ended up doing an interference on SmackDown. I have no idea why I ended up, you know, pressing the uh, button on accident. And apparently you can go back or cancel your action. You have to interfere once you select that option. Um, somebody just told me that I should have simulated this match, which I didn't know what exactly it meant because sometimes if you simulate it will take you to a match and it won't let you play it and it will make you watch the whole freaking match and we're freaking wasting their time right now because why is there no di uh you know oh good god Kane is bleeding I remember when was the last time Kane actually bled come on hurry up they really wanted me to interfere this match. Why ask me to go out? I'm forced to get out once I uh, attack one of the guys. <laughs> Ken went flying out. That's right. I'm freaking attacking him. Kane, just die already. Ooh, Booker T's flying. Hey, hang on, Booker. I'm trying to help you out, dude. Come on. I'm gonna get him count out counted out. Ooh. I was hoping that the uh table would break. Grab this chair. Oh yeah. Come on. Stay down. I think you're wrong about that. Oh no! no! Stay down. Oh, Almost close to nine. Nine? And ten. Come on. Come on, ten. Hurry up! There we go. All hail to the King Booker. Apparently, Kane will be a Raw this upcoming Raw? Really? Put him through the table. I'm glad this match is over. Alright, let's see what you get for invading. 25% fatigue, dude. Holy crap. I'm probably injured by this time. This whole situation is incredibly frustrating. And I'm not really supporting you here. But you have the title and we have a pay-per-view. So the show must go on. I sure hope you're ready for a challenger that you're not too beaten up to make a credible title defense. Because I'm embarrassed enough already. Don't make it worse, okay? Stay strong. Stay strong. Stay strong. Alright, here we go. Pay-per-view. Can I get a hand job at this pay-per-view? Look at Coley's face. Tag team match. Teddy Long's got a hard on. Just looking at that. Got <laughs> the freak is this game that put me up against Chris mother freaking masters what is this 2k15 universe mode I mean really this game I don't know if I should laugh or put my head down and just cry PJ, how do you say your YouTube name? P is in glue, PJ HQ. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. By God! And if the that promo. Away, we'll have a new champion tonight. The champion What's got that? What does Edge have anything to do with the promo? What the? <laughs> the logic! <laughs> this game's logic! Why is Edge in this promo? These nuts. The Rock. Chris Masters. <laughs> Chris Masters is a valuable contender. Oh, really? Surprise face. 
this will be a pretty good match. Chris Titty Masters. You guys know that his chest looks weird, right? I'm talking about, like, you know, all that steroid use. Remember this, the last year of his career in WWE? His chest looked so deflated and, you know, just, um, it didn't look even. You know, it looked weird because, I don't know. All that steroid use, you know, made it look pretty bad. You mind? All right, let's skip this entrance. Peter, what's your orgasm? What kind of question is that? All right, here we go. What if I'm bound to get screwed in this match? It doesn't matter what the contender is. Happy New Year, champ. He might get overthrown here at New Year's Revolution. Oh. Max Gamer. He's just about to have a throwback from SmackDown vs. Raw 2007 season mode Royal Rumble Rage. I don't remember what exactly happened. Chris now has floppy jugs. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, speaking of jugs, there's this woman that showed up at the work today I hate those types of milfs that have a freaking attitude and they go around looking all pretty and they're stingy as crap at the same time and they're always picky about stuff and they're using their husband's credit card and they don't have to work or do anything you know all they have to do is just sit at home just take care of the kid and that's it you know I hate those types of women. I just can't stand them because the main thing is because of their freaking attitude. I just can't stand them. I don't know if you ever come across those women, types of women or not. But every once in a while, I have to encounter them. It's just, ah, uh, this drives me nuts, man. I just try to be polite as much as possible and just get on with my own life. Oh, uh, uh, not a really good start. Ah, oh, take this, Chris freaking Masters. Actually, Chris Masters got a uh, pretty good move set in this game. Um, I think I was playing with him, not his D's nuts, but I was playing with him a few weeks ago. On this game? Okay. Oh, what the freak? What the? <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. That move. That looked like sexual position. One piece of me? Done? And you don't get there on a fluke. But Batista's the real deal. And that's why it wouldn't surprise me one bit. Nope. Reversal. Denied. Look at that set. That looks so sexy. I miss those sets, man. No, I won't talk about that in this video. Because I know every time the sets come up, I talk about the stuff, how it used to be back in the day. I'm stuck in the old era. And that's what most of the people are, too. People who used to watch wrestling and they think that, you know, wrestling is fake now never used to be or how awesome it was back in the day and they never consider that it's still awesome because they just don't keep up with it people are freaking hypocrites dude I had a uh, guy come in the other day um, wearing a RKO out of nowhere shirt and I asked him I was like hey did you see what happened this and this and this you know kinda trying to get an idea of if he still watches a current wrestling product or not, and he didn't know jack about wrestling. He did not know jack. I mean, you talk about nothing at all. And he's wearing a shirt, um, you know, that Hot Topic released. Or, you know, Hot Topic, they come out with, you know, all the latest trending stuff like D's Nuts or whatever. So apparently they had a shirt that said, you know, WWE, RQ out of nowhere. But, um, 
Yeah, he didn't know anything, so that type of stuff kind of makes me mad. When people don't know what they're even wearing. I've seen some people wear, like, some pretty gnarly stuff. Um, one day, uh, some guy came in wearing, like, an old-school classic Star Wars shirt. And he's an older guy, probably in his 50s or like 40s or something. And I asked him, I was like, hey, uh, did you watch the Star Wars trailer or something? And I was like, it looked pretty awesome. He had no idea what I was talking about. No freaking idea. He had a Star Wars, like a classic shirt on. You know, like one of the first ones that actually came out back in the day. The shirt looked pretty old too and looked pretty legit. But whatever. He refuses to be intimidated. You're damn right it is. It, oh boy, this looks like an all or nothing move. Oop. Oh. I can talk about shirts all day long because I just thought about another one. Some guy came in wearing a Gara shirt. Gara is a uh, character from Naruto. He didn't have any. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool, man. That's one of my fair, uh, favorite characters from that uh, anime. I said Naruto. He was like, oh, okay. He didn't know what I was talking about. I was like, that's the anime show that I'm recently, you know, I'm watching it right now on TV. He was like, oh, I was like, oh, uh, you know. Or actually, he said that I just got this shirt. Okay, what the crap is going on? I just realized Masters is beating the crap out of me, dude. Get your ass over here. Alright. Master's body is red. I just need to get a finisher. Actually, I can win a match without the finisher. But, my legendary progress is going to suck. I need to... Oh, never mind. Too late now. Didn't Gara die? Um, Gara came back to life. Believe it or not. Yeah. Everybody's dead and alive in Naruto. I just can't even say it anymore. Peter, did you hear about Global Force Wrestling? What about it? What happened? Did anything happen recently? Something to do with TNA? Ten years ago, Vince said that WWE is real, but now they teach how to wrestle. Bray mode. He there was a fatal four-way match, and you pinned Kali, then Paul Burchill pinned you. You lost to JBL in the Royal Rumble ladder match. Oh, I think I kind of remember. It's kind of cool the fact that you remember it pretty good bit. Huh? That's pretty cool that you remember, unless you watched the video recently. Two steroid using <laughs> guys in the ring right now. All right. What a thrill! Congratulations, excellent work. Not only did you win, you beat ECW, and you showed that even the almighty Vince McMahon isn't all powerful. I'm very, very impressed. What does the fox say? Ding ding. PJ is a primetime player. Ten years ago, John Cena beat JBL for the WWE Championship. I feel old. I feel really old. I watched that, um... At, um... How did I watch the pay-per-view? I think... I don't think I watched the pay-per-view live. I watched it the next day or something. PJ, are you going to sing or read Today's Kids Will Never Know? Yes, I am. Matter of fact, I mean, this is the furthest I'll go um, as far as playing matches goes unless something happens. Uh-oh. Yeah. Let's watch this first because I think we're proceeding with our next storyline. Undertaker's chest. Oh, new storyline. Here's the place. Heard enough? More than enough. So this is how you 
and your sister repay me, huh? By plotting against me? No, Dad, wait. L listen, it's not like that at all. Uh, we're, we're victims here, too. Oh, really? I can't wait to hear this one. Booger T has it just appeared out of nowhere. We realized it. We were in too So who's the mastermind then? Well, Dad, it's someone who's been a thorn in your side for a little while now. Let me guess Stephanie McMahon. Thank you for spoiling it. Someone posted in the comment section that um I'm fixing to get betrayed, but I can just simply see what's happening here. I'm not going to read that message right now. I'm going to wait uh, till the next live stream. So let's save this right now. And don't go anywhere, folks, because I am fixing to read something awesome. Or to show you guys something awesome. This is what you call overtime or, you know, after after hour stuff. That happens with, uh, or, you know, stuff that happens in PJ's live stream. Okay. So, in case you haven't, uh, for the new people, you guys need to hit the, uh, subscribe button. And also like the video. Let's see how many likes we have. 94 likes so far. Cool. Alright, I have pulled up these nuts <laughs> on my screen. So, let's check this out. Who is this? These nuts. Not funny. When you see these nuts. I'm trying to see some of these memes. I've never read these, but my friend told me this morning. He was like, uh, hey, you need to actually Google these nuts meme and uh, just check out the images. So let's check it out. Do you like dragons? Because I'm going to be dragging these nuts. <laughs> Get it? I'm going to be dragging these nuts across your face tonight. Why? Wow, look at his face. What the? What is that? What the hell is that? You can. <laughs> oh, that is so bad. You can have these nuts. I don't need them anymore. In case you don't know, for the people who who don't keep up with, that's Caitlyn Jenner or Bruce Jenner. Whatever the heck that is. <laughs> Guess what I don't have anymore? These nuts! <laughs> I actually want to see him do that. On this sh actually, I don't want to. I don't watch this show. It's pretty bad because I'll be watching Total Divas with my girlfriend. And, um, you know, they'll show the commercial and they'll show previews of the episode while Divas is on. And I'm like, oh, dude, what the crap? Well, my girl asked me to bring Lay's these nuts flavored. Okay, not funny. 53% of this outfit supports 100% of these nuts. <laughs> not funny. Okay. Respect women. Okay. Nope. Not going to read that. Uh, I think that's enough for today. Because <laughs> it gets a little agile after that. Wow. That's crazy. Pizza's laugh is brilliant. Ooh. The game volume is too low. You don't need to hear the game volume. Pizza, I subbed. Thank you. I love pale girls. Nikki is sexier than Brie. I don't care about Brie. I mean, uh, the Bella Twins. I really don't. I just don't think they're really just hot or anything like that, you know? Brie is... Did you guys... Have you guys seen her without makeup? She's not all that. Same thing with Nikki. Nikki is fake as crap. I just can't. I don't know. I like Paige. I mean, Paige looks... I, I find Paige to be pretty cute. So yeah. Pizza, you're really awesome. And by the way, AJ Lee retired. I didn't know that. But thank you for the compliment. PJ, will you enter moist mode? I am pretty moist. I'm pretty wet right now. 
Uh, okay. Another thing I wanted to see for you guys is not these nuts, but uh, today's kids will never know. Okay, that I thought that was pretty funny. Check this out. How many of you guys remember this? How cool you were when you pulled up to the playground with a pack of these. <laughs> no, no. Um, actually, you guys remember back in the day when uh, well, it's hard to find now these days unless you go online or maybe to like a dollar store or something. You may be able to find them, but those uh, the fake cigarette candy. Um, they were about this long. That's what she said. Um, and it had a uh, red candy color on the corner like kind of like you know when you light up a cigarette and you know you were cool when you were outside hanging out with your friends and you were doing this just imitating the art of just smoking a cigarette but you're actually just sucking on a candy piece which if you do it now these days you'll people probably call you and be like hey you are such a faggot you know that's whatever um i came across those candy cigarettes months ago and I thought that was like the coolest thing ever um right now I'm actually looking at um check this out Disney VHS collection I don't know how many of you guys uh collected VHS um tapes of Disney or not but they're I mean I have a huge collection and honestly I don't even know what I have I have a bunch of Disney VHS tapes um in my closet right now so yeah. <laughs> the only one who can stop Drake. I don't know how many of you guys watched um Drake. Oh this right here. Back in the day or uh about eight years ago or something like that, this song came out. Throw some D's You know you were cool if when you heard this song or you know, going down the hallway in high school you said, throw some D's on that bitch. I don't know. We used to do that. I don't know how many of you guys did that. Because you got to be like 20-something year old to know this. If you know what I'm talking about. The song named Throw Some D's by Rich Boy. And he actually looks like a guy who says, the D's nuts meme. It's pretty funny. You guys need to listen to the song or watch the music video. It's pretty stupid in my opinion. Just going back. And just watching, and I'm like, what the freak was this song about? Throw some D's on that bitch. D's what? D's nuts? But, um... Oh! This is funny! I'm sure you guys see this all the time, still, to this day. Uh, during Christmas time or Thanksgiving time. Th these boxes are laying around the house in cr around Christmas time, no doubt about it. Thinking cookies was in there, but you found hair bells and <laughs> crap. Because people used to use these boxes after Christmas when, when you, you know, finish up the box. Because people used to save them all the time, you know, for something. Uh, well, that's funny because I'm actually using this console right now. Not today, but you know, every other day I use it to show you um, Day of Reckoning gameplay. Let's read the comments now. Who is Bruce Jenner? You know, you want to know. The video is in singing a song. If off. People are mad. Lion King. Spider Man. Okay. Um, looks like PJ, do you work out? Yes, I work out. I remember them. They weren't even that nice, but I ate them because of Spider-Man. Oh, you're talking about the Spider-Man can uh, Spider candy. Uh, before you guys go, okay, one last question. How old are you guys? Because the stuff that I'm actually talking about right now, it may not even, uh, you know, may not even matter to you. Because today's kids will never know. It's probably the stuff about 10 or maybe about 15 years ago. So if you guys are like 15, 16, or even 12 for that matter, um, yeah, you guys probably don't even know what this stuff is. So post your comments right now. How, how old are you guys?
because I would really like to know. Not that I want to molest anyone, but I would really li like to know what my uh, subscriber base is like uh, at this very moment. Freaking brother broke my charger, and the only one that works is, so we gotta buy more. I'm going rage mode. 16, 18, over 9,000. I'm 21, I'm 16, I'm 19, 17, 14, 19, 16, 16, 11, 15, 14, but I remember all that stuff. 15, 14, 19, 21. Looks like most of the kids are around um, going from middle school to high school, high schoolers. Uh, mostly I would say middle school because I see lots of 11, 12, then I, it, it goes up to 15 a lot, 15 and 16, 13, 11, 21. Then I have some 21, 22, 24 years old, 69, but says Banana Boy. Wow. <laughs> it's surprising I see comments from people that I actually never see comments from. TJ, if you were going, if you were a WWE superstar, what WWE divas would you get along with and be mad at why and how? That's a tough question. Um, that's kind of like doing pick one, kill one, kiss one, or something like that, or F1. Um, I, I would say Paige, because, um, simply because I used to like Paige, and I still do, just as wrestling-wise, but I've seen her character on, um, um, Total Divas, and she's nothing like what I would have, what I, what I thought about what she was like, you know? She's totally different. So in my mind, I'm thinking about Paige as of a different girl, but she's totally, a, you know, like a different person in real life. Did you ever meet a diva? Yes, I've met few divas. Uh, I think Tori Wilson. Um, I met a bunch of. Uh, I met Mickey James, um, Velvet Sky. So hot. Um, I met, um, uh, well, she's not considered as a diva, but, uh, president of TNA, Dixie Carter, or what is she now? I actually got to talk to her, um, you know, we talked about, like, how we're from, you know, Rome, Georgia, and she's like, her, uh, family lives here, or, you know, her family resided here at, at a point, or something like that, so, yeah. Um, Pizza how old are you? I'm 25. Are you ready for 2K16? Yes, I am. All right, guys. Looks like an hour is coming to an end. Thank you guys for watching this live stream. Um, next time when I come back, uh, I may do a stream tomorrow. Simply because I may get the uh, motherboard in, uh, this weekend. And I may have to spend my time doing my computer stuff. Um, so I may end up doing the live stream tomorrow. Uh, Day of Reckoning. So... You know, there are a lot, there's a lot of people who like watching Day of Reckoning streams simply because the gameplay is freaking phenomenal. Um, and plus, you guys probably get to witness some rage. Alright guys, well thank you guys for watching this live stream. I will see you guys next time. And don't forget to hit the like button because that's really important. 108, thank you. Awesome. I'm out. See you guys next time. Bye-bye. I live in Rome, Georgia. Someone just asked. And I'm just replying back to that comment. Alright guys, thank you. These nuts.